Well, topping our news and breaking this morning, a tractor trailer barreled into a home in Scranton early this morning. Now hundreds are without power. Newswatch 16's Elizabeth Worthington is live at the scene with the latest. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hey, good morning, Mindy. We have some wild video to show you of when that tractor trailer actually caught on fire. But first, let's show you what's happening right now. A towing company just moved the tractor trailer out from the front of the home. They're working to fully remove it. You can see that utility pole sheared in half. The driver took out that utility pole. That's why so many people are without power this morning. You can also see the damage left behind to this home on Bernie Avenue. Fortunately, the two people inside at the time of the crash made it out safely, according to the Scranton assistant fire chief. So let's go to that video from just before two o'clock this morning, you can see the tractor trailer on fire. Those flames spreading to the front of the home. Neighbors frantically spilling out into the street, trying to make sure everyone made it out okay. And fortunately, they did. The driver of the tractor trailer, though, was taken to the hospital. And so far, there is no word on their condition right now. There is 200, about 200 customers without power this morning, according to the PPL outage map. That's way down from where we were earlier this morning. When we first got here, it was closer to 2,000 homes and businesses without power. You can see Manuka Pastry Shop is right next to the home, and O'Malley's Pub is right across the street, so hopefully they can get power back on shortly. PPL is here working on that. We talked to neighbors who live nearby and came out this morning after hearing a loud noise. They thought something was going to explode. It was like 1.50. I literally had just laid down. I heard a bang and then the power went out and then it started to surge. So I sprung up, everybody's yelling. I look out the window, it's on fire. Not a lot, just a little. And then it just slowly progressed and it got worse and worse and worse. Unfortunately, fire crews were able to get that fire under control, but quite a big mess left behind this morning. And if you drive on Bernie Avenue, you know that there's been some construction going on in recent weeks, and neighbors tell us that it has made traffic a little dicey. No word yet on what caused the crash this morning, and again, no word on the driver's condition, and no word on when PPL will have power restored to those now more than 200 customers still without power this morning. Reporting live in Scranton, Elizabeth Worthington, Newswatch 16. Some really amazing video. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for the very latest.